Hi everyone, it's Daria. I wanted to show you uh, today a haul of things that arrived while I was traveling. I did come home to like eight different packages, so it's very exciting. It's like, you know, kind of like Christmas morning. You come home and then you get all the stuff um, that I did buy for myself, but still. Uh, it was uh, pretty nice. So I kind of want to go through some things that I got. A lot of them are fall and Halloween related. Uh, and there are some stuff that I got from Michael's um, that I didn't, you know, order by mail. I just went there, but I wanted to show you. So the big one is obviously this pillow. It's so good to be home. And I just couldn't resist. I love sunflowers. I am Ukrainian, so course sunflowers have a lot of significance for me and um, I just love how this looks it's so kind of fall ish and sunny and happy and reminds me of my country and also um, does you know kind of brighten up the space uh, you know if you add things like that it just kind of sets the tone for the whole room sometimes so I'm very excited to have this Thanksgiving is coming up here in Canada so this is definitely going to be on my couch and it was 50% off at Michael's so I think instead of 25 Canadian dollars I paid something like 13 um, or 12.50 so it was definitely worth it I love these little fuzzy things it's really good quality I'm very very happy with this and it's just yellow on the back and um, just to get the big things out of the way I did get two sweaters from Mod Cloth. I love that website. I've been shopping on it for years and years. They always have like cute, quirky, seasonal things. So I got the Fair Isle Ghost sweater. I don't know exactly how it's supposed to be called. I think you've been ghosted is, if I remember correctly, is the name of it. Uh, but it's really, really nice and cozy. I got a size small. And I probably could have sized down to extra small in hindsight because it's quite roomy. And I'm 5'5 and I usually wear like between small and extra small. So, you know, I should have gone with a smaller one, but that's okay. Very happy with this one. It's good quality and it's not too hot. So I'm going to be able to wear it pretty soon. Very happy with it. And I also got this cardigan that I think is Hocus Pocus themed because it has like um, a cat and a witch hat and a cauldron. Again, I forget what it's called on their website, but it's very cute. It's orange and it has a pattern, you know, it's also like in this Fair Isle style. And I actually got a matching one for my mom so that she and I can match. I love matching with my family. And it's just, it's so cute. Uh, so we're super excited to take photos in it. You'll probably see it on my um, October daily once I do it. And so for the other things that I got from Michaels, I got a planner. And not just any planner, I got a happy planner for like your workout. And it's pretty funny because I wasn't planning on getting something like that but I saw it it was the only one left and I just wanted it so um it is very cute it has this like little pattern inside with like um the dumbbells and kettlebells and like little cardio sign and I haven't really gone through all of it yet to be honest but it has you know a little sticker book in the beginning with months um and it does have um, like these spreads for every day basically so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna track my workouts here and what really sold me on this planner is that it has a food log and you know like what you're focusing on and I also want to document like how I'm feeling um, so kind of how this is like a wellness um, planner or like more like a tracker to be honest than a planner but I also really need to keep track of the workouts that I'm doing and the weights that I'm lifting. So this is gonna be perfect for that. And I got one more thing. Um, I ordered this like two months ago. I've been use, um, looking for like a gym um, stamp because I, I don't wanna be like writing everything by hand. 
but I knew I wanted to do some sort of journal of my workouts and I was like looking for it everywhere and I couldn't find it and eventually I just googled like a gym stamp or gym acrylic stamp or something and this came up on AliExpress so it just arrived and I can't tell you how the quality is because I haven't used it yet uh, you can see that here like the snatch is like the whatever like the printed stuff is supposed to be on top is not really well done but the stamp itself it seems fine so I'm gonna use it and I mean it's a stamp how bad can it be right but I think like right off the bat like it does seem like similar quality to the usual stamps that I get but like this comes off more easily so I don't know what that means maybe it's less sticky but I love these icons so this is what I'm going to be doing here you know and I do want to like go on more walks that's the thing that I struggle with like I work out at home um, I have a space to work out and we also have a gym in our building that we go to like every other day with my partner so I need to be getting out of the house more so that's what I need to do and I don't bike um, that's the only thing but he does so I don't know maybe I'll offer to track it together or something but he actually does it in a spreadsheet and maybe in a scrapbook or I'm like no no I can't do this in Excel I need to have like a proper <laughs> journal for it so yeah was not gonna planning like I, I wasn't planning on <laughs> getting a planner but I did and I'm super excited and it has these like motivational things and it's kind of perfect because as I'm filming this, it's September 30th, so tomorrow is October 1st. So I can actually just, you know, stick October on like the first tab and track everything I'm going to be doing for my workouts this upcoming month. Um, and also, you know, I just get, got back from a trip, so I'm a little bit out of my routine with workouts. So super excited to dive right in and then track everything and use the stamp to do that. So that's what I got from Michaels uh, and one more thing that I got from Michaels actually is these um, stickers for Happy Planner. So one is uh, it's called Full Harvest um, and it's I just love the like palette and like, it has gold foil or actually this is like rose gold it's even better it's rose gold um, it's super pretty and these things aren't cheap. I think this particular one was like 11 or $12 Canadian, um, which is already quite a bit for stickers, but the Christmas one was like twice the price. And once they try to use their, um, you know, like they always have a discount code on their website, they were like, no, 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 it doesn't work with this one. So boo, but I did get the Christmas one. It has a lot of pink. There was another one that was like, just like red and green but I, I love pink in my Christmas stuff so I'm gonna use it I'm also gonna use it for my December daily because I'm gonna be doing it in a notebook so it's kind of worth it I didn't get a lot of December daily stuff this year I didn't get any of the kits from Ali Edwards or anything like that I didn't love the crate paper collection which is what I usually buy so I can use some stickers especially because they're flat so it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it so yeah, um, so the main reason why I got these is because I was in uh, Chapters, which is like our Canadian bookstore. And I've been looking at this planner from Kate Spade for a couple days now, because I was going to different chapters basically to see what they have. And it was on sale and I just couldn't resist. So I've never been a planner person, but I am hoping to become one. I have no idea what I'm doing. If you have tips, I'm all ears. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of research on YouTube to see how to do this type of stuff, but this one is just so pretty. And it is um, August 2022 to December 2023, so it's going to last me a while. And the pocket here has some stickers with foil, which is, you know, that always gets me. Um, but where is it okay so it starts in august so obviously now we're end of september so i'm probably not gonna do anything here unless i'm gonna use it as like a memory planner or something we'll see i might write some stuff down just to kind of remember what happened when what to like go back when i scrapbook or something 
I think it could be useful, but then technically I will start with October, which is, you know, perfect because it, a bunch of Hocus Pocus is, you know, referring to Hocus Pocus 2 coming out today, September 30th, 2022. So I'm going to be writing stuff down here. I have a very busy month. October is probably more busy for me than December because, uh, well, first of all, it's October daily. So I already do a ton of activities. I love fall and Halloween, but here in Canada, um, our Thanksgiving is the second Monday of October. So um, I always host it. I make the turkey. I have friends over. I, you know, make a big deal out of it. So that's a big event. Then about a week later, depending on what the date is, it's my partner's birthday. And then, you know, obviously it's Halloween end of the month. And then my mom's birthday is in the beginning of November. And, uh, you know, there's still like Day of the Dead. And I feel like it's still kind of like November until November 2nd. Oh, sorry, Halloween until November 2nd. That's what I mean. And it's just is a busy month. It's like there's so many. And I have FOMO, like... I want to do all of the things. I just found out that there's five Halloween craft markets in the city that I live in. And I'm like, when am I going to go to, like, go to all of these? And, you know, I want to go to Pumpkin Patch, but we have like several really good ones uh, around my city. So last year I went to two. This year I might also go to multiple. I'm also going to a convention for Supernatural um, this October. So there's just so much. Um, I'm going to like a bunch of events and stuff, so yeah, I'm gonna have to track it. Um, and I think also I'm gonna use it hopefully to like set some goals for like stuff that I'm doing and maybe like plan some YouTube videos because right now I just do them whenever and I would like to get more organized. But you know, stay tuned. We'll see whether that actually happens. But yeah, I'm excited to have a planner. I, I don't know, I just like all of a sudden feel so like grown up and organized even though I feel like neither of those things so yeah I hope that I'm actually going to be using it and I will update you on how that's going and one more thing I did get these two paper clips also at chapters oh actually they say bookmark but they're going to be paper clips for me obviously I'm a scrapbooker so, uh, one says one more chapter one says to be continued so again perfect for scrapbooking right storytelling that's what i see and also this little card window like i'll put some sticker here and it's perfect for photo so or journaling there so i just you know i couldn't resist this so yeah that is it for planners and now moving on to stamps and like actual scrapbooking things so um as you know i recently went to paris it was my first time, so I didn't really have like anything to document it with. So I did get this stamp from Studio Calico. So I ordered this before I went, and when I came back, it was in the mail. So perfect. Um, I loved Eiffel Tower, so I'm gonna probably use the stamp a lot. I love to make patterns, and I find these type of stamps, they work super well on vellum. Um, and then I put that vellum in my scrapbooks, or I make a pocket out of it. So that's what I'm planning to do with it or use it in my traveler's notebook I don't know if I'll go to Paris again quite honestly I felt like I had like five days there and it was enough for me obviously there is always more to see but I also love going to new places and I don't know if I loved it enough to come back but you know never say never so I um, am happy that I got the stamp and I'm gonna be using it soon now moving on to paper person so i recently got a subscription with them just to try it out for three months and that was um, right around the time that their halloween mini kit came out so i had to get it so this is not from the mini kit so this is just the halloween release from paper person this year um and i love hocus pocus so i had to get uh, get the stamp especially because of like the hairs of the three sisters because i just i love it um it looks so good like when you actually stamp it um it was on their website and i, I that really sold me on it i love the script you know like the swirly one and the sentiments are also really good like the weirdos are out another glorious morning it makes me sick i love that movie so much so i'm excited and because this year hocus pocus 2 is coming out 
today so I'm gonna document it when I watch it and you know my thoughts and feelings and things like that so yeah this is a kind of like a standalone uh, stamp that's not part of the kit but the actual kit is here and it does come with a stamp so the stamp is super pretty because it has little designs inside and I just haven't seen stuff like that the snake I haven't used it yet but I've seen people use it and it looks beautiful and um, I also do love this font and by the way I totally forgot but I actually did get the Sanderson alpha stamp so just bear with me for a sec So here it is. I got it while it was still available and again it's a standalone stamp it's not part of the mini kit but uh, it matches you know these little sentiments and also it's just such a cool stamp. Uh, it's unusual and like very Halloween-y. I want to use it in my October daily and probably a bunch of other projects. Um, I should mention that none of these stamps come with the sleeve. I do purchase these separately, usually from Studio Calico or Elliot Words or Heidi Swap. I think they all use the same kind of warehouse service, so it's always like available on their websites at the same time for the same price. So I buy these sleeves and it keeps my stamps safe and organized. So that aside, yeah, love this stamp, super excited to use it. And the mini kit itself, um, it comes with some ephemera, which I'm not gonna go through right now. You can see on our website if you're interested, but it just matches the sentiments in the kit. It has the washi that I believe sold out really fast, but again, it kind of matches the stamp and the kit. It has these stickers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these rainbows. They to me don't seem very Halloween-y quite honestly, but I might cut the pumpkins out or something, we'll see. And I love these uh, gourds and the cauldron, that's cute. And actually, I think that you can use the stamp to basically recreate this, right? Can stamp the cauldron and like the bubbles and then use the grass or the plants to kind of stick out so it could be super cute um, so I, I always love when it's like the sticker and the stamping kind of plays off each other I think it is very like it gives it like this like matching feeling to the layout so I'm gonna try to you know bring my vision of that to life I am working in a traveler's notebook this year for my October daily, so this is perfect for me. Um, I love that it has a calendar, and I am going to probably put tiny photos here. Don't quote me on that just yet. I might change my mind, but I did that for December daily a couple of years ago. It was perfect. You can also do tiny stamps, but I just don't know if I have that many Halloween and fall related stamps that are this small. So that gets a little bit complicated. So I think I'm gonna just um, kind of shrink my photos to like really small size. And then when you look at it, you get kind of like an overview of what you did that month. And all of their papers are double-sided. So if you don't like this, you can use the other side, but obviously this is perfection. I'm gonna open my October daily with this. Um, there's different designs and I already kind of flipped it on the side that I think I'm going to be using so I think I'm going to use this one I don't love the blue in my um, Halloween stuff but maybe I'll change my mind love this like candy corn type of design it's pink on the other side uh, yeah this I'm not sure again don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with a rainbow for fall so I might use this side but I don't know We'll see, maybe I'll change my mind. Uh, this is just like a cute dot pattern. They are all like um, aligned on the back so you can just use them for journaling. This design I do love and I use a lot of pink and purple in my Halloween stuff and my fall stuff. So this is gonna uh, be very useful. It's also gonna match well with the stamp, uh, like the cat and the snake. I don't think I have the butterfly but that's fine I think yeah this is gonna be nice uh, like these uh, lines that are diagonal very Halloweeny 
Then they have stars, which could work. I'm not sure yet. Uh, this one, I just don't know. Like a rainbow and butterflies don't scream Halloween to me. So I might just use this side. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Yeah, I might actually use it. I might use it as like a filler page somewhere. We'll see. Um, or I might use these like two together somehow because I feel like they go together well. I love these ghosts. They're kind of creepy but also cute at the same time. And I don't like my Halloween stuff to be too cute. I like it when it's like a, has a little bit of like a sinister undertone. So I like these ghosts. And I chose pink because I'm probably going to use the pink. And again, I don't know what to do with the rainbows. So yeah, that is it for the Halloween mini kit from Paper Person. So I super love it. And I'm so excited to start using it tomorrow when October starts. I also got, uh, like I said, I got a subscription and uh, this was my first time getting it. So I wasn't really sure what it's going to look like. Um, so there's some puffy stickers. Um, I think this September release was like school themed. Um, so it has like a bunch of arrows, which are... You know they're versatile and they could be very useful and it has these vellum numbers i'm not going to take all of them out right now but they go in one to ten um, and a lot of them are like fall colors or like 10 is purple so they're halloween colors so i really like that and it's going to be perfect for my traveler's notebook because it's flat so that's really useful there are some cards so the month card i'm actually probably going to use in a travel album because I was traveling from like September 5th to 27th so you know um, I could like circle the date that I'm talking about or something like that but it does have lined paper on the back so I can also do journaling this I don't know I'm probably gonna use the lines halfway to Friday doesn't apply to me right now because I am not working right now so you know every day is a weekend for me basically so um, I think I'm gonna use the paper uh, pattern paper is good, can always be useful. Something about school, maybe if I ever journal about like, like my school, like an education and stuff like that, this could be it. There's a quote that, you know, again, I don't study right now, so this would have been useful like 10 years ago. Um, this is also school themed because it has like a ruler and stuff, but I, th I think I might actually use it for like my university stuff. I did math in university, so you know, like it's gonna kind of apply. Um, just some like very kind of neutral, uh, what's it called? Music sheet, paper, design, you know what I mean? I used to play piano, so maybe then use it for that, or you know, I can just use it in like, documenting music or like my December daily or something uh, pink journaling card is kind of blank so that's nice love dinosaurs so this is fun and I'll find a way to use it for sure and on my mind card with some more lined paper and then they had um, alpha stickers which are always useful and four by six cards so there's some very like school type of designs which again as a former math student this could be useful but I actually like this for journaling so I might use that um, so I don't love too much um, but again good for journaling uh, what's happening this week so this might be good for project life but I've been kind of really behind on that so I don't know um, this is definitely like very related to math and studying and school so or like university for me I like rather so yeah I might use that but I love the grid on the back uh, this is just you know again different type of lines and grids that you can write on and this is awesome I was horrible at uh, chemistry so maybe that will be a story right like when I go through these things it kind of sparks stories but again I like that you can actually just use the grid on the back and there are some uh, six by eight papers so this is going in my travel album for sure because again i can put little photos 
or just write what I did that day, like mark like travel days. I had to take like five planes and a train and a bunch of stuff. So, you know, I could just like document the timeline here, especially because my travel album is not going to be chronological. So I think this is going to be super useful. Um, they all have this like dot grid on the back, um, which I don't really know. I mean, to me, it kind of works as a pattern paper. I don't see myself writing on it, but um, you know, it's nice that there is something on the back. Uh, bright yellow lined paper with more dots. This is, I don't know, I would use it as a pattern paper probably. This one is a bit too busy for me. I don't think I would be using this side, so I'll probably put something here, we'll see. Uh, this one, again, reminds me of school, so it's something to write on. I like this rainbow splash pattern, I don't know. Uh, it's nice, so yeah, I would use this side for sure. And then there's some planets which makes me think of like a museum or planetarium or i don't know i think i could use it for halloween too we'll see and i really like this one it's just like um you know blue sky with stars so it's pretty so yeah that's it for the september kit but i also have the october kit that just came in so i'll show you that one as well um, and actually do really love it. So yes, this is the October kit from Paper Person. It has these little die cut uh, leaves um, with gold foil. So I always love things like that because I can't make them at home. So um, also I really like that they're small because I've had things like that in the past and they're usually large. So I love that they're small. Uh, there's quite a bit of gold foil in this kit and that makes me very happy. So there's this like, I don't know, fall berries pattern that's gold foiled. Um, and I think, oh yeah, not all of them are lined on the back, but I think most are, but this one's blank, which is also good. Um, it feels like fall, has some lines on the back, the little rainbow with lines for journaling. Uh, I love this October so again I can use this in my October daily I can also use it in my project life um, this one is a little like city map but I haven't looked too closely but I couldn't right away figure out where it's from so I'll probably use it for some travel album eventually uh, the theme of this kit is hometown so you know where everybody knows my name I don't know I mean I'm not like a regular anywhere so who knows what I'm gonna use this for I might use the other side local love this for sure like I want to journal about the city that I live in how much I love it so I could use that they all have um, lines on the back there's just different colors some pattern paper with lines homecoming um, yeah I don't know how I would use this one to be honest um, there's a little map of Italy which I haven't been to but you know never say never so it might come in um, handy some like a uh, wood grain pattern uh, this one is I think France or actually Paris so that's super useful I just went there right so I'm gonna use it um, I love this one with labels printed on it you can put like little stories or just number stuff and then just write like what it is um, there's no place like home uh, and then fall 2022 so I, I love that I love being home especially in the fall uh, some stuff about like school I don't know geography art sports I don't know reminds me of school um, I hope I didn't confuse it but I think it actually came from the October kit around town so again good for travel but can also work for like staycations a little local exploring and this is map of London which again I just went to so perfect um, now for the four by six cards we have this like, cute house pattern with like fall leaves and fall colors and I again I love this for journaling so that's great um, this is a again a gold foil with the floral uh, floral pattern so I love that it's blank on the back uh, more florals they're blue to me it actually reminds me of like summer more 
who knows um enjoy the moment this i don't know this doesn't look too much like what i usually use so i might use it on the other side more lined stuff it's kind of nice that there's columns you know you can i don't know like keep track of things or list things it's convenient and this kit also came with these puffy alpha stickers that look like they're dipped in gold and i am in love so much that i'm like hmm maybe i should like not use it and leave it for december daily but i know myself and usually that means i'm gonna forget about it so i'm i better use it soon i super super love it it's so cool i've seen somebody have them like very similar ones that look like um candy corn and i would love to get my hands on those but i just haven't been able to find them so this is like the closest that i've seen and i'm super happy that it came in this kit it again has an october uh calendar which i'm a little bit sad about that i mean i know i have one in traveler's notebook size but i usually do my october daily in um a four by six sorry not four by six six by eight binder album so this would have been perfect last year right or next year but the calendar is going to be different so i might actually have to wait like however many years until it lines up but i don't mind doing that and there's beautiful papers here too they're like very fall themed or colored um except this one this one i don't know what it is um and then more you know kind of ledger is that what you call it or could be um you know you can list stuff here um love these florals i always love like peach colored stuff like the pink and orange and then there's you know similar but like a little bit more graphic um style of uh, pattern and they'll have dots on the back so that's really nice and I also got a few stamps from Paper Person. So first thing to mention is I got this stamp and I didn't actually order it. I ordered a different one. And they didn't send me that one. They sent me this one. So I reached out to them <laughs> to let them know. So I don't know yet what's going to happen. But in the meantime, I have this stamp, which is like fall fiction, I think what it was called. I wanted the Too Far Pumpkin Spice but i do love books so i'm not too upset about it it's just you know i would prefer the other stamp but that one is now sold out so i don't know if they'll be able to replace it who knows we'll see um i did get the departure stamp which i kicked myself for not getting originally i looked at it i really liked it and i was like yeah i have a lot of stamps but the main thing about the stamp like it is meant to be like a passport stamp stuff you know and you can build it and put like little destinations or years in there but I realized that the tiny letters are like quite unique you usually can't get them in other places and they have numbers too so that's why I was kicking myself for not getting it and I was so happy when they restocked it so super super happy about that got the stamp finally and the hometown stamp came with the October kit so that's actually part of the subscription um, I don't know if it comes separately, but I really like it because it's again, it's good for travel. I love the house. I love kind of building stuff. Um, and I like, again, I think it's good for, um, you know, like traveling, for example, like I, went, I just went to London and first time I went was like, oh my God, like 18 years ago. And, you know, last time I was there was five years ago. So like things change around here and uh, good memories from the spot, you know, big city, little places, but also, you know, like this is my city, like talking about why I love where I live. I definitely want to document that, especially because I am considering moving somewhere else. So, you know, this is super useful. So I'm very happy that I got the stamp. And I also got an order from Citrus Twist Kits. So if um, you follow them, you probably know that they recently came out with a six by eight binder that's the same quality as their life crafted albums and they're slowly kind of adding more and more colors and i've been waiting and waiting for them to come out with one in um i think it's called clementine because i have it in 
the life crafted size which is a four by eight but I, there's no way i would be able to use it for october daily because the spine is like probably half of this one if not smaller so i knew i would want like an actual six by eight album which is what i normally use for october daily this year i decided to do something else but i still got it because i'm probably going to use it next year um this one is called pumpkin spice um and i actually wanted it because I want to print my mom's photos from her trip to Israel and to me this just screams like desert and like it complements the pictures um, that she has so well because there's a lot of this like I don't know like red desert color I don't really know how to explain it the light there is so beautiful and it just like illuminates everything in this golden light like all her photos look like golden hour like all day you know every day so i've never been there personally but i think it's just so beautiful and i really want to print those photos um, because she has so many good ones and i want to like put them in an album for her so this is what i'm going to be using for it and uh, while i was putting in my order i thought i might as well get some more um page protectors so i love these like two four by four um, they do fit the Studio Calico and Ali Edwards binders. They're all six um, hole punched uh, ones. And because Ali Edwards is now coming out with a lot of 4x4 cards, which I think are meant to go into her uh, 10x8 albums, um, that's the only like type of album that she has this um, page protector for that is like has 4x4s in it. So I've been getting these ones just to use those cards. You can put in any album, right? And then I always like the the eight two by twos and they also always send you like some freebie just to show off their other page protectors they're so nice and um they also like always give you a handwritten note thank you so much for your order you know they use your name it's just i love that company so much um and uh yeah i uh, got this one like the this three by eight which you know i have three by eight albums i also sometimes use it in other albums so it's super useful too so yeah this has been a lot of stuff if you have any questions please let me know and um, otherwise i thank you for sticking with me and watching this video i and i have, hope that you have a good day okay bye bye